Attorney General Denise George met with officials, dignitaries, and law students of Ghana during a recent trip to participate in a conference on transnational crime in Africa. Attorney General George and five other U.S. State Attorneys General participated in presentations, workshops, and panel discussions with their African counterparts, stakeholders, and lawmakers. We met with and engaged in discussions with a lot of the leaders in law enforcement, legislation, not only in Ghana, but also leaders in Zambia and um, Kenya and other African countries. A.G. George said she also engaged with the students who inspired her. She said following her presentation, the students expressed interest. I just had the, the pleasure of meeting um, a number of, of young law students from the University of Ghana Law School, as well as young prosecutors who attended the conference. And they were just so bright and vibrant. Their questions were profound. And, you know, they really have that energy to make a change. I was just so inspired by their interest in everything. They often expressed their interest, a number of them were like, wow, I'm so inspired, I love that law and how your law, you know, so interested in the laws and how we're able to apply them. Little did they know that they inspired me more than, than I inspired them because um, they also were very interested in doing some kind of exchange and collaborating or meeting and exchanging in our cultures and education. And I was already inspired to say, you know, I would really love from that experience to be able to have like you know, our students here to be exposed to, to the culture there and to have an exchange. So that definitely was quite an inspiration to me to encourage some kind of cultural, educational um, exchange or internships between students in Ghana as well as students here in the Virgin Islands. I would be doing that or trying to foster or facilitate that sort of exchange uh, with the Attorney General Alliance. Established in 2016 by the Attorney General Alliance, AGA Africa is a U.S.-based organization that sponsored the conference and seeks to build and foster robust relationships with justice and law enforcement agencies and officials throughout Africa to support the rule of law and combat transnational criminal activity. AGA Africa shares information, training, technology, and experience in the fight against transnational crime networks, including human trafficking, wildlife trafficking, counterfeit drugs, corruption, money laundering, and cybercrime. Governor Albert Bryant acknowledged the collaborative work of Virgin Islands-based organizations that have historically remained at the center of many African historical, socioeconomic, cultural, spiritual, and educational affairs in his proclamation. The third week in May is annually commemorated as VI African Heritage Week and VI African Liberation Day is recognized on May 25th. A.G. George and the team also met with members of parliament, including the president of the Republic of Ghana, speaker of the parliament, and parliament majority leader. Visiting parliament in Accra, Ghana, was a part of that, and we were able to meet with members of parliament, uh, the speaker of the house, um, and we were able to have discussions on what they're doing. They're actually working on amending their laws to combat human trafficking and to combat other types of transnational crimes. And we, we got together, discussed what the shared ideas that we had, shared our experiences with them, as well as our laws and our methods of law enforcement also. And so it was, it was quite interesting. 